Welcome to Anime Love, a channel where all we do is give you anime suggestions and recommendations, top 5, 10, and even 20 lists, character analysis, and even some anime theories and a lot more. My name's David, and I'll be your narrator. And before we start with today's video, I'll kindly ask you to, only if you liked it of course, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment, and if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please feel free to do so. Let's roll the intro and start with today's video. Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we'll be answering a question that has the up-and-coming fans of anime confused since there's not a lot of straight and clear answers to the very question. I mean, there are even a few veterans as well who are in a dilemma as to what they should be doing in this kind of situation. I understand how they feel, for the series is something so complete, something so good, that it'll make every other anime out there look rather incomplete or just lacking when it comes to the delivery and execution of all those elements that make up the perfect anime only legends speak of. Well, we'll be looking at one of the greatest series of all time, Full Metal Alchemist. Now, people either watch the original Full Metal Alchemist or the Brotherhood adaptation. Rarely have I seen people who've watched both series, since there's this thing going on on the internet since the beginning of time itself that Brotherhood is better and delivers the perfect experience and blah blah blah. Well, they aren't wrong. Brotherhood is how the series is supposed to be, how the series is written, and how it's meant to be viewed by the fans out there. Full Metal Alchemist came out when the manga was still ongoing, and you know what happens when we get an anime adaptation of an incomplete and unfinished manga. We get a lot of fillers, or we just get a story that isn't even related or true to the original universe the anime is based on. If you're a hardcore fan like me, who's watched both of them, and is just in love with the anime named Full Metal, then give me a high five and join me in recalling some of the things that are different when the two shows are brought close to each other. If you've watched only one, there's no problem. You're still welcome to watch, but realize there are some major spoilers in the next couple of minutes to come, and I'd highly advise you watch the video at your own risk, since this is one of the very few complete anime out there. With that out of the way, let's spot the differences now, shall we? I'm pretty sure everyone recalls how Brotherhood started. We had Edward and Alphonse fighting this guy who was a master when it came to outplaying others, making it a hassle for everyone on the chase for him. But the one thing that stood out was the fact that Edward didn't require a transmutation circle to come up with all kinds of stuff. So since the beginning of Brotherhood, things are kept real and presented in a way they're supposed to be even later on in the series. But with the earlier adaptation of the manga, the original Full Metal Alchemist, the start is rather slow and we see Roy and Edward engaged in completely different conversations, along with Edward being unaware of his ability of being the prodigy who can manage without a transmutation circle. It's revealed in the test, as he saves a bunch of people there, that he's capable of doing that, and that's a big contributor to the watch that puts him out there as a state alchemist. Brotherhood kept things on the lighter side. It for sure didn't sugarcoat any of that dark stuff that was going on in the background, along with the gloomy atmosphere, that just filled the streets at night when it came to the anime. It even featured all new comedy elements, unlike the original Full Metal Alchemist, saving us from getting consumed by the darkness the series came hand in hand with. But with the original Full Metal Alchemist, we had an atmosphere that made the show gravitate towards the dark side, a side that made the show feature the psychological thriller genre elements, as well that there were still there in the Brotherhood adaptation, but the whole animation and soundtrack made them look a lot less and reduced the punch they would have packed otherwise. If you're a real fan of those genre elements in the older adaptation, Full Metal Alchemist is your thing. Go watch that instead. These two outcomes depend on whether you've started the series with the original adaptation or the adaptation titled Brotherhood that came years later. The original anime came out when the manga was still ongoing, so it's given we didn't see much of Zing or any of the other characters that come from there. To be honest, we don't see anything of Zing at all in the original Full Metal Alchemist. I'm sure I have your attention now. Ling fans, sorry to disappoint you, but there's no Zing in the original anime. The Empire, along with all the memorable characters it introduced, Mei, Fu, are only in the Brotherhood adaptation of the manga. Not a single character is there in the original anime, making things a lot harder for the Ling fans out there who just can't get enough of the 180 transitions he undergoes. 
being a flip-flop between his own self and the homunculus greed. All those characters played a great role as the story progressed in the Brotherhood adaptation, and it's really hard to imagine a story where they don't exist at all. Am I correct, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood only viewers? In the original Full Metal Alchemist, the homunculi, these OP characters, were brought to life when a human transmutation was performed, and since it was destined to fail, being completely against the laws of alchemy, they were the result of a failed human transmutation. But in the Brotherhood adaptation of the manga, they're all brought to life in a process that involves the Philosopher's Stone itself making things a lot spicier than they were in the original Full Metal Alchemist. I'm pretty sure you're all thinking about how the Ehrlich brothers performed that failed human transmutation as well. Give me a second, I'll come to that as well. Well, yes they did, and the result is exactly what I mentioned, and that leads us to our next point. In the Brotherhood adaptation of the manga, we see Sloth as this humunculus who stands tall, acting like this frontline who can take any shot you throw at him head on without breaking a sweat. In addition to being big, he's also extremely strong making him the best spear and shield at the same time. In the original Full Metal Alchemist, Sloth is completely different, him being a her. Sloth is literally water in the original series, flowing freely all over the place, making it look like she's straight out of Sonic or something. Also, in addition to a she, she's just like the mother the Ehrlich brothers lost and wanted to bring back so desperately that it made them take the forbidden step, commit the taboo in alchemy, human transmutation. So, whether you've watched the original Full Metal Alchemist or the new one, this will be quite the shock, since both feature completely different sloths, making you have two images of the character whenever you recall the series. We saw Father, and the anime sure showed us that this guy was capable of making literal planets pop up in his hands without trying even a bit. Father is one of the most overpowered anime characters to enter the realm of anime. We sure welcome him to the 2D universe. You'd be expecting him to be there, wreaking havoc all over the place in the original series as well, since it's hard to come up with an antagonist that's not such a god since he's part of the picture that represents the face of the series. In the original Full Metal Alchemist, we have a different face, a different soul, a different character, who again happens to be a she rather than a he. Full Metal Universe sure loves to make people feel stuck in this timeline while the entire universe shifted to the other one a while ago. Way to go with these gender bends. Anyway, Dante is completely different from Father and wants something completely different, their aims and goals being miles apart, both of them being completely different from each other. Of course, that means that the universe and everything they're part of in the series is completely different. It changes the whole Full Metal Alchemist universe depending on the series to say the very least. But Father is the original antagonist and the bad guy the original story featured, so we'll go with him instead. There's no Olivia in the original Full Metal Alchemist, so the whole Fort Briggs thing that occurred in the Brotherhood doesn't feature Olivia there in the first adaptation of the series. Plus, in addition to there being no Zing, there's no Alkahestri in the original Full Metal Alchemist. This changes things in Ishvala as well, since Scar's brother was studying both alchemy and Alkahestri, the Brotherhood adaptation making him look like a scholar, while the original series didn't make him look like that much of a nerd, to say the least. Also, the relationship between Riza and Roy, them always being there for each other, and all that backstory they had together, just isn't there in the original Full Metal Alchemist, as much as it's featured and highlighted in the Brotherhood adaptation. So anyone who ships these characters would really be disappointed. Maze Hugh's death is one of the most tragic ones we've seen in the entirety of anime and manga. He was just such an earnest character who won our heart in that little span of time he was there on the screen. The original Full Metal Alchemist gave us an even better insight on the character, making it even harder for us to get past that since it broke a lot of us. The ending is completely different as well, and I don't want to highlight much as to what happens in the ending since I truly ruin the entire anime whether it's Brotherhood or whether it's the original Full Metal Alchemist. See, we're nice here. We're not douchebags who spoil anime, and neither should you. Both series feature quite different elements, despite being the adaptations of the same series titled Full Metal Alchemist. Also, the pieces that make the puzzles complete in the end are worlds apart when both series are brought close to each other in order to see what are the similarities and what are the differences. If you're a fan who loved the series, whether it was Brotherhood or the original Full Metal Alchemist, and you want more of alchemy on the screen that you're looking at 24-7, 
then I advise you to watch the other adaptations as well, since they'd make you see the story from an entirely different perspective. It's like all those fate movies that just don't stop coming out almost every couple of months. Brotherhood adheres more closely to the manga and delivers us a story that Full Metal Alchemist was meant to deliver since the very beginning. So Brotherhood takes the cake when it comes to which one's better, that's for sure. But if you want some more of Full Metal Alchemist, then watch the original as well. You'll only love the series even more. That's a fact. Tell us in the comments below which adaptation was your favorite and why, highlighting the thing you love the most in it. Alright guys, that's all for today. Really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you already know what to do. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.